This is bleeped out. They censored it, man. Oh, what? <laughs> Except for right there. Wait, is this gonna be censored? It that is so funny, dude. Oh wait, does my okay? This this is a rather interesting start. So this is the low Elo Legends game, one v one on Arabia. We're just hopping in live. We saw the game was ongoing on AW2.net, uh, where it said that Conjo Vi Conjo virus, which I assume someone told me is Spanish for rabbit something, um, and COVID twenty was playing. So I thought it was. Pretty crazy how in a ranked game. <laughs> oh my god, it's the Great Plague Cup! Okay, Ducks the Savior must be working on the scoreboard right now. The Great Plague Cup best of 69. Uh, Konjo Virus is here in the red playing as the Malians, and then in the blue we have Bleep, according to in game, because I'm apparently not responsible enough to make my own decisions on what I read. Um, yeah, so that's bleeped out because of the game, but thankfully my casting overlay actually shows the proper details. But yeah, it's funny to me how they censored the name uh, in the lobby, and they censored the name in-game, but in the load screen, it didn't censor the name. It's not the best uh, censor. So COVID-20 against Konjo Virus. The battle of the viruses! Okay. Well... One thing I've always been proud of is that in awkward times or rough times in life, I'm always able to take life not too seriously. So that's what we're trying here. Except for the sheep. Oh boy, I was just talking about the names. Okay, so that's, I believe, three sheep that Blue is eating at the same, th uh, <laughs> at the same time. And the problem there is there's uh, a lot of decay. Wait, what's going on at Red's base? What the... Oh, no! He tried to scout with sheep like the pros do, but he forgot to bring one home. <laughs> I just saw he had his whole eco idol. Well, props to you, dude. He's building a lumber camp. You'll never learn if you don't try. Okay, there we go. All right, he's got it, I believe. But yeah, uh, it's not ideal to be taking multiple sheep with the same villagers. Byzantines versus Malians. All right, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Arabia, open maps. Perfect. Scouting for blue. He's setting waypoints. Ev oh, holy, wait, what the, what the waypoints everywhere. Okay. All over the map. So he'll find stuff eventually. However, guys, uh, this is really bad scouting. You've got to scout the dark areas that are close to you. So try and make a full circle. Just shaving off the edges of the fog of war. Now, I got fortunate here. He's finding the goats. He should come back around here. You take this area. You see there's a boar he hasn't scouted. There's goats he hasn't scouted, but... Um, he's going for the fast mill straggler tree approach. Now, deep down inside, you're thinking, this is hilarious because I know it bothers T90, but I've turned a new leaf, all right? I'm untouchable now. I am untouchable. This does not bother me at all. Um, I like it when villagers walk long distances to chop trees. It's not efficient, but it's more, it's more fulfilling, you know, really. It's, it's what, it's not how much wood you have at the end of the day, it's how you feel about the wood that you bring in, so, it's fine. Um, that, that said, for no particular reason, I really do like the opening from Konjo Virus here. It just looks better, but again, for no particular reason. Better build order, too. Uh, but saying that, he's had more concerns keeping Vils producing at all times. What's his scouting look like? Uh, whoops. Um, okay, he found his ostrich. Now, I really do like the fact that Blue's taking the ostrich. I feel like too few low elo players will take the ostriches. Also, that is pretty convenient that the ostrich are next to the mill with the berries. Don't take the goats there. Okay, we're going to take the goats there next. Perfect. All right. Can't see his boar. No problem. Boar here. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to take it. I feel like he's going to build one more house here. He really should build a lumber camp. But I think symmetry is really important to this player. Now remember, COVID-20, probably really hard to predict. So this is this might just be... Some social distancing. Oh my goodness! Ah, 
Oh. Oh, God. All right. No, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It's not a big deal. All right. He's shopping. He's, he's going to chop the trees now. Good. Perfect. All right. Chop the trees. <clears throat> Great. You don't need to build it up against the wood line. It's not important. <clears throat> not important. Uh, how's the scouting doing? Well, he was using waypoints earlier. And he forgot about it now, so it's fine. The lumber camps are... He obviously put a lot of focus into the lumber camp placement. So I would say going auto-scout here, as long as you're done scouting your base, I guess mentally he already is, auto-scout would be a good suggestion. If you really want to learn, I would... I would say you yeah, practice doing it yourself, which he's doing. Cool. Um, 18 villagers for him, 16 for Red. So despite Red's build order looking prettier, uh, he is struggling to keep the Vils pumping out. Now, did he lure any boars? He didn't. Now, he didn't build a mill here, which I would suggest, especially with Malians. Oh, T90 farm. Gotta leave the gaps in between the farms, boys and girls. More walking distance, just like we saw over at Blue's base. <laughs> Man, this is a great low elo legend game because they they have the same weaknesses in different ways, or or they are similarly noob, I guess you could say. But no boars, red really. All right, Blue's on the way to feudal age. He's going for the mega strong, mega no boar attack. Okay, just pulled this villager from here to go somewhere. Actually, this villager is a forager. What's happening? Wait, now? Okay, thought twice about it. So basically, that villager just interviewed for two different jobs and he couldn't decide. One was closer to home, one paid more. Hmm, decisions. Okay. Alright, I actually, I need to look somewhere else at the moment. Does Blue have a barracks? He does not. He also has not collected boar. Uh, red. Don't shoot the boar. Oh, man. You are a madman. Oh! He has no loom. He has one villager underneath his TC, so I don't know what, who he's bringing this to. <laughs> Blue just scouted right past it. <laughs> Who's gonna kill this thing? Yo, that's next level. He blocked the boar. With the back villager, he didn't take a hit. Wow. Well, hats off to you, sir. That was impressive. All right. Uh, so they will arrive in Feudal Age. First thing that Blue did is he got the Lumber Camp tech. That's a good move. I would suggest getting horse collar before building farms. I can tell that in his mind, he has enough on food right now. And he's going to be very reactionary and build a bunch of farms right when this bush finishes. No real build order, so you don't plan ahead with one or two farms. It's just, boom, everything at once. I hope he gets horse collar so his farms have 250 food instead of 175 food. Oh, boy. Okay. We're going to build the, you know, oh, I got it. Build the farms around the mill. The villagers might not be protected from any attack, but if you ring the town bell, then your whole eco isn't idle. Okay. I would suggest building farms around the town center, because then they're safer. But this does look very pretty. No horse collar. Wheelbarrow is good for efficiency. That's fine. Um, for red, he does not have the lumber tech. He also does not have the farm tech. And no wheelbarrow yet. If you're wondering when you're supposed to get wheel, it really depends. In high level games, you're normally getting it around anywhere from 27 to 33 villagers. But at this level, I just suggest getting your text because every little bit helps. Okay, so... If, if I was the type of caster to get frustrated, I would say that building 10 farms... 60 would a farm, and then research, researching horse collar afterwards would bother me because he could have hundreds more food if he would have waited till after horse collar. But he got horse collar after the fact, and I'm not the type of person to get frustrated by those itty bitty mistakes, fortunately. Uh, I wasn't in the past. Cool. All right, so 
In general, he has the right ideas, creating more villagers. This is where straggler trees are very helpful. So you send them to the, the straggler tree so they chop wood while you're waiting to give them a farm to go to. Uh, <laughs> Red's farms, <laughs> they're not the most efficient. And he doesn't have horse collar or bit axe, but man, are they straight. Okay. They are really straight. Building an archery range now. And funny enough, he has way more resources in the bank. It's crazy. But Blue has invested food into eco upgrades, right? All three big important eco upgrades he's gotten, so... Blue is definitely better off, despite that, uh, however deceiving that may be. A red might still get to castle age faster, that's the thing with the fast castle. You don't get eco upgrades, but you could pack a punch real early in castle age. Hmm. <laughs> Sharkman says, I love T90's comments also, and I laugh at the players, but secretly I do half of this shit as well. Yeah, can we please get... I, I want people to acknowledge that who might watch this on YouTube more casually. Can we please type a 1 in the chat? If you laugh at some mistakes that these guys make, but also realize you do the same stuff yourself. This is some... This is actually why players chop straggler trees. Because like, I think a large reason that people chop straggler trees early is so their farms don't look like this. Like this here, right? You could chop it and then build the farm there. Just, just give it one chop and boom, farm. But he, he might not know that. Uh, right now, I think he's looking for a second building. So he can go to Castle Age. Uh, has the range. He'll need a stable blacksmith market. Anyone will do. Splendid7176 says, I never make mistakes ever. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, okay, so notice how Blue's resources are rising. His base is definitely more random. <laughs> uh, which I guess is how compet- what the, uh, Actually, is he gonna make a little circular house wall? I thought it was random, but I just could not comprehend what he was going for. Alright, well, um... And I would suggest a new lumber camp, I would suggest two buildings, and then I'd suggest going to Castle Age. I'd also suggest using Auto Scout. It doesn't. I feel like COVID 20 is a player who played this game a lot in the past. Does anyone else get that vibe? I feel like Conjo might be new. Like newer. I don't know if he played as much in the past. I feel like Blue probably played this game before Auto Scout existed. Shay93, paying attention to the minimap, as all players and casters and viewers on Twitch should do. He says, Red has a forward build. Those are actually goats. Good eye, but I, I did spot that. As a caster, it's really, it really annoys me <laughs> when there's like red dots that, that don't mean anything in the opponent's base. Uh, Palisade walls, sometimes, same thing. Like this scout, I keep looking back at this because I notice it on the minimap. They're spies. Yeah, they're spies. Oh boy. Well, we have COVID-20 against Conjo virus, and so far, everything has spread rather slowly, right? Um, so if we're comparing this to a virus, it has not been too rapid yet, but you never know with Byzantines. And hopefully everyone stays safe out there. What's the plan from Red? No eco upgrades still. If you click up to the next stage, you should probably get eco upgrades. Oh no, he, does he have auto farm? Don't tell me you have auto farm. No auto farm, no. The, the really bad thing about having auto farm is that, oh wow, we have an attack. Or we had an attack. The bad thing about auto farm is that if you don't get your farm upgrades and you leave auto farm on, you might never realize as a weak player that you are investing so much more into wood than you should be for the amount of food in return you're getting on those farms. Oh, it's Canejo, Canejo virus like that? Yeah, I, sh I should have picked that up. Sorry. It's not Conjo. I'm such... 
Such an American. Please. Listen, I only... Did I get it? Cone Conejo, right? Yeah. Look at the micro! For Look at this! Look at this! He wants to go for the doink, man. He knows it's a weak villain. He knows it's a man. Which one? Look at it. Oh, Blue is, Blue is paying attention, too. Oh, he's trying to reposition the vills. Oh, my goodness. There it is. He's weak on the right side. Can he get it? Oh! Sorry, I only uh, passed Spanish class because my buddy was from Guatemala and I cheated on homework. Oh! Oh! Doink! First kill of the game! Let's go! Conejo! Beautiful! Now, did he create villagers at home? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's just so funny how oh wait he goes in again nah there's no way he gets that one right nope that was a perfect example of this right here he got the highlight I will give him that but in that three minutes he wasn't creating villagers at home so if you would have spent that time creating like four villagers at home he'd actually be better off in the build difference but it's 34 to 34 okay um, still no eco upgrades. He's getting thumb ring for- Oh, He has military! Ye of little faith, or me of little faith. I did not think he would actually have that. Alright. Blue's Byzantines, and if that tells me anything about him, it's that he loves options. You know those players? who make a little bit of everything because they want to have all their bases covered. Yeah, that's what Byzantine players tend to do. That's what Byzantines are good at. So he has two stables, three barracks, and then we'll soon have three archer rangers. Wow, and he's making camels. He's also making spears. Did he make all those spears and now 10 camels because he saw a scout? <laughs> like... I kind of feel like because he saw that single scout, he is now making all the scout counters, which is kind of a worrying sign considering Red is going archers. It's because of the discount. Well, I mean, Byzantine's also going to discount on skirmishers, too. He didn't make a single skirmisher, right? He's not expecting archers. <laughs> I mean, Malians can do anything, so it's kind of hard to know what's coming, but... All right. They are cheaper. It's a good point, chat. Good point. I also just saw that uh, Conejo virus just researched horse collar. No castle age eco upgrades for either player. Still lacking feudal age eco upgrades. Red. 41 to 37. Uh, new town center for blue. New lumber camp. Okay, you know what? It's it's way better. We'll leave it at that, and it's getting better every time. Uh, all I ask for is a little bit of improvement each time. Can they have, can they balance two TCs at the same time? I'm gonna check. Red is okay. I mean, he still has this army just sitting here, just chilling. But I think it's really hard for them to attack at the same time as Boom, so. Um, what? Arson, Crossbow, and Husbandry. Yeah, Blue's going to get all the techs. He is going to get everything. He'll probably get Elite Skirmisher when he can afford it. Now, my tip to you would be send a single unit forward and just see what your opponent's up to. Like maybe, I don't know, the starting scout. <laughs> Blue forgot about this, man. This scout has been sitting here. I guess Red can't see it. But it's been sitting here for a long time. He could see the town center and everything. But, you know, just send it around. Even if you lose it, just know, you'll know what buildings they have. What I would suggest, let's say you really struggle with multitasking. Queue up 10 vills out of each TC. And then just send... You don't have to look back at your base. Just send the scout in and pay attention to what he's making. Whoa. 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 Oh. Guys. Crossbows. Bodkin arrow. Leather archer armor. Full armor. No ballistics. But as close as it gets to having full upgrades. Blue is getting his eco upgrades now. He has pikemen. He has some of his own crossbows and he has camels. But he does not have upgrades on any unit. 
He built this brilliant house wall here, which happens to have about 16 and a half holes. So that could be a huge problem for his economy. Fortunately, he does get free town patrol with Byzantine, so we can see this coming pretty far away. Or free town watch, sorry. And red. Oh, micro god, let's go! Boo! Micro god right back at you. Okay, so COVID-20. Please the farms. He has twice the amount of military. How much will upgrades matter here? Quite a bit. Red sees that. Red's probably freaking out because he doesn't know enough to click to see the upgrades. He's probably going to lose these crossbows. But you could turn around and at least get good value from them. Yeah. So pure numbers with the cheap units working there for blue. Now what's Red's reaction going to be to this? You see how Red benefits in, from this? He at least knows what blue is making. He has economy, so he's say, okay, I'm going to make pikemen now. And so he's going to make pikemen. I have no clue why blue is getting men-at-arms after seeing archers. Probably because he wants options. But um, cav archers and pikemen is quite a good composition. It can struggle against full elite skirmishers. Keep in mind, or, or even full uh, range from Byzantines in general. But keep in mind that Mali and pikemen do get extra pierce armor per age. So they'll hold their own a little bit more. And if you have pikemen cav archer, I do think red has... The, the better military. Uh, 55 villagers for red, 50 for blue, but what's the big difference in their economies? It's the eco upgrades. Such a simple thing. It's like if I wanted to go ultra clickbait and be like, AoE players can improve their gameplay with these simple tricks, and then I have like Billy Mays or I don't know, whoever you would associate with those types of videos. No, I gotta do like watchmojo.com. To, uh, to do the video, but anyways, um, if I were to, to do that, I would say go for eco upgrades because it's you have the same number of villagers, they're just working so much more efficiently for you. Ooh. Okay, I, I, I don't hate the castle position for red, it's in the front of his base next to stone and gold. Hey, I love you, T90, and I... hope one day to be in the top and get casted just oh, for wait. to watch me build two archers. Oh my god. On a random Red island. spotted the scout. He's gonna attack the scout. The scout's gonna attack him. He doesn't have loom, so he's gonna lose the villager. <laughs> and now, now Blue remembers he has the scout. <laughs> and now Blue's like, hey, what's up? Forgot about this guy. What do you have over here? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, so now he sees the castle. Oh, what a mistake! Now he knows everything. Of, well, not everything, but he knows so much more and you gotta kill. You always prioritize the wood upgrade first in each age. Um, horse collar, I would say, you get before you build quite a few farms in Feudal Age. I mean, it, it depends. Unfortunately, the answer is it depends. But in general, get your wooden farm upgrades when you're entering each age. Definitely in Feudal Age with the farms. And then Castle Age, you can delay the uh, the farm upgrade a bit. Like, for these players, like, Red's had the resources this whole time, right? It does, it does kind of depend. I don't want to say... I can't give general advice on when... Or I can't give specific advice on when to get it every time because it's strat-dependent and game-dependent. But if you're new, just get them. Get the wood and food upgrades. Like you, I have to give advice on what's realistic per, like for your average player and for your average player, streamlining the exact time and build is probably not possible. So I say sooner rather than later, based on what I've seen. This is based on watching hundreds of, of mid to low level games. Conscription, ASAP and Imp as well. Yep, Conscription, ASAP and Imp. Uh, of course, only if you don't need to go into an immediate trap war. Okay, blue is on the way to the Imperial Age, making taking advantage of the cheap Byzantine Imperial Age. And red is going to go for a big Castle Age attack, as far as I can see. These Cav Archers don't translate that well into the other um, stages of this game. Okay, murder holes. Very important, you get that. Uh, there was a scout around this castle earlier, so you need to make sure, in case that scout shows up again, that there's no minimum range on the castle. So, murder holes. But yeah, Malians don't get Bracer. 
So, in the Imperial Age, these cab archers are not that impressive. Actually, they're really bad. Getting ballistics, though. Do I have a depends emote? I usually take a shot whenever you say that, but I can't anymore. <laughs> oh, God. I'm surprised you're still alive, man. Yeah, we have a depends emote. And in 40 years, when my channel's going downhill, and you guys are all... Maybe 50 years. You guys are all starting to fit into adult diapers. We will have a T90 Depends promo code. And you can use that promo code to get discounts. That will be my business plan. Alright. So, here come the Cav Archers. This is the way they went last time. Now there's a castle here. So he avoids the castle. And now Red might... I think that's really going to discourage Red. Blue doesn't have any blacksmith upgrades. But but red has all the blacksmith upgrades. Red doesn't have many eco upgrades. Blue has all the eco upgrades. This the title of this YouTube video will be Military Upgrades versus Eco Upgrades. Red will slaughter Blue's units with these cab archers. He's he's is lacking bloodlines, which is pretty big here. But he will take such a good and effective trait. Keep in mind, Blue just entered the Imperial Age. Yeah, I would prefer the Cab Archers hit and run. So here you go. Take the hill and just just hit, my friend. Hit. Hit. Micro. Oh, what a what a god. Three and a half thousand gold, by the way. Amalians do get that gold mining upgrade for free. That helps. Maybe that's why you picked Malians. Any Civ with free eco upgrades. Let's go. Pick Franks next. Oh, this... This is so painful for Blue. Like, what did he go to the Imperial Age to gain? Oh, boy. Now, he can solve this problem because he has solid eco and he has solid resources. He just needs... He doesn't have a blacksmith? He doesn't even own one. I thought he had it and just forgot it existed, but... He doesn't even have a blacksmith. Well, the town center's doing work here. Red, 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 red. Okay, well, he's out of here. He's out of here. Okay. You just noticed. Yeah, I assumed. <laughs> Guy knows to get his eco upgrades and boom. I mean, <laughs> you assume certain things. <laughs> Doesn't matter, guys. The units are cheap. All right. So, Red does have more villagers. I would argue that the economies are just as efficient, though. It's 74 villagers against 59, but the fact that Red doesn't have most of his eco upgrades is pretty bad. And I think it was wrong about auto farm, unless he removed it, because they're not automatically receding there. I don't hate auto farm, I just think you need to be very... You need to pay attention to... Uh, well, what happened with that lion? What? Did the lion get a kill there? What? Um, you, <laughs> you need to pay attention... To how things are going economically. Let's get some woo woo woos in the chat. It killed something? Wow, I'm such a noob caster. Sorry, I pay attention to more important things like farms. <laughs> well, the lion must have built a blacksmith and got an upgrade. My god. Like, I. Are blessed without even fletching. He's giving logistics. Logistica? Figure out... Will that help him figure out the logistics of his build order? And then he'll build a blacksmith. Just because the word logistic is in there, or logic is, is somewhat mixed in, will that mean that he will realize he doesn't have a blacksmith? I'm hoping. Because that's a pretty specific tech. That technology... I'll, I'll actually bring it up for you here. That technology... Gives cataphracts trample damage. The issue is, if they don't have upgrades, <laughs> they're not going to be alive by the time they get in there to trample. I can tell you that much. A Tigui is the unique tech for Malians, and the TCs now fire arrows when you sail by them. I mean, I love the cataphracts. I love... Uh, I love those units, but... Now, what's funny is, Red is... He is getting upgrades, but he doesn't have a lot of upgrades available for Malians with what he's going for. So the Cav Archers 
Like, first off, I think he really needs bloodlines at the stable that will give cab archers, uh, that will take him from 50 to um, 70 HP. Husbandry also increases the speed there. But yeah, he doesn't get bracers, so he could get chemistry at the university. Um, he has the university, so I would go for that. Normally, you're seeing champions, cavalier, light cav, jibetto. Not normally seeing a lot of cav archers. Um, nice play from red to heal up those CA. The guy, I, I love the castle spots from blue. Okay, he's building a university. So he knows about a university. Tell me he's going to get ballistics for archers or something. Actually, I have a feeling he's waiting for a certain murder technology. What's the first tech going to be with the university? I forget what it costs. Wait for it. Wait for it. Doesn't it cost like food and stone or something? Or food and wood? Wait for it. Okay, he's busy right now. Uh, making cataphracts with no upgrades. Now, also, I should point out that elite cataphracts are... There's a huge, huge difference between regular cataphract and elite. Some units you can get by with just having regular. Like Mangadai, for example. Castellite's Mangadai are pretty decent. Um, even though there is spike from Mangadai to Elite Mangadai that's significant, uh, regular Cataphracts are just bad. Nine attack, very little armor. Okay, he's on his golds now. I like how earlier, the only thing that got his scout to move and scout the enemy was it getting attacked. And I guess he was just trying to run back home with his unit. He wasn't really trying to scout. Well, regular unupgraded cataphracts are not that good versus infantry. They only have two melee armor and 110 HP. They're pretty. They're pretty trash. Uh, but I guess bonuses and all that, all that yada yada good stuff. But yeah, we're not seeing any infantry from or or uh, like champions, I guess, from red. 53 minutes, 120 population for both. This has all the criteria of a YouTube upload. It is the Great Plague Cup. First off. Uh, second, we have one person who's getting blacksmith text. We have the person who's not getting blacksmith text. The other person doesn't even have a freaking blacksmith. I'm not even sure the purpose of the university because he hasn't used it yet. Then the other guy is getting his eco upgrades. He even got gold shaft mining a moment ago. Ironic that the person who got the eco technologies in this game also built the worst lumber camps 4000 gold for red <laughs> I, whoever dies in this game is going to die with a whole lot of resources i can just feel it these uh, these units have not been upgraded at all um uh, oh chemistry okay that will help his uh ranged units He, he got Heavy Camel, he has a uh, plus two defense, he's gonna need... Okay, Heavy Cav Archer, that helps a little bit. Yeah, I feel like Bloodlines is a tech... Did it take you guys a little bit if you're experienced? Did it take you a while to get used to Bloodlines? I can see that. Because it's in the stable, but it also affects Cav Archers, the same with Husbandry. You get, you get uh, 20 extra HP on the camels and the cav archers, and then husbandry gives you more speed. Now two-handed swordsman for blue. Wait, he canceled it. He's getting halberdier first. Smart, because he has pikes. Funny thing is, on upgraded Byzantine units in this number versus the crappy Malian units, because he's not really making the right things right here, uh, could work. Ooh, boy. Um, guys, I, I want to vote on who you guys want to win here. I'm very torn. I feel like red is more aggro. Also, Kanejo. Kanejo. It's really fun to say. So I'm kind of leaning towards red. Uh, but I don't know who you guys are rooting for. So some people say red, some people say blue. But blue, he got his eco technologies, which makes me really happy. He's getting ballistics now. That's very important. He also chose Byzantines, which is pretty awesome. 
Are you rooting for the virus, people? Wow. People are rooting for another COVID. You guys are the worst. Okay. Hmm. All right. So, uh, I gave him credit for getting blacksmith upgrades. I'm giving him a lot of credit for it because blue has zero. He's still lacking quite a few important ones, but he knows the castle's there. Okay, let's let's see how blue reacts to this. This is blue's point of view. He can see the trebs. Attack noise. Time to get scared. Immediate reaction. Send in the cataphracts. Send in the halbs. Send in the arbalest. Send it all. The enemy is on the hill. We have a Byzantine castle. More HP. They have Logistica. Let's see how they can do running in after the Cav Archers. That don't have Bracer. <laughs> it's actually doing okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. They actually did okay. Okay, will the castle go down though? I think it needs one more volley after this. If it fires, castle will go down. Watch that crumble. Beautiful. You have to be careful not to have units around when that happens. Otherwise, they'll get smashed. No Game of Thrones spoilers here. Did I say spoilers? I meant spoilers. Sorry. Okay, so 55 military versus 50. I wonder if Red will be happy with that or upset with that. What Red probably should make... Well, it's, <laughs> it's blacksmith upgrades. <laughs> And he really likes to build, he really likes to block up the choke points with his military buildings, but, um... It's not gonna be easy. Oh, wow, that's the spot where Blue really wants his castles, apparently. It's not gonna be easy to break this variety of units. I'd really like to see Siege against it, actually. An onager would be quite nice. Farimba gives those camels a lot of attack. Had he brought the camels in previously, the fight would have been a lot better. Wait, Blue got an upgrade? What upgrade did he get? What up? Oh, he got fletching. Wait, no, that's chemistry. He didn't get an upgrade, did he? Okay, red wants to castle that hill, which is an amazing castle. It's a castle high-level players would build to lock down the gold. There's a villager in blue's army. Oh, <laughs> there is a villager in blue's army. Okay, so it's blue's turn for a counterattack. And he has trebs, only the castle for the Malian player will not last as long as the Byzantine player. So I feel like with four trebs, I love how he's not trickle trebbing. With four trebs, that castle will certainly go down. And this castle will be denied. Onager's on the way, however, there's no Onager's out for Kaneho. And Kaneho is about to come in. I mean, I've never seen these units fight before, especially with the lack or no lack of upgrades, but Red should own this. Red should own this. Where are the cataphracts? He's gone. Red, fight! 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 Okay, he was too cute there. I think you just commit to the fight so you clean. Maybe lost a few too many camels there, but yeah, he just mops it up. And now it's his turn to push back. Now this is actually hilarious. <laughs> because he's gonna arrive, he's like, it's counterattack time. We probably took out that castle. <laughs> I'll wait for it. What? I just destroyed that thing. How was it there? I just destroyed it. What? He probably, I, I bet you he didn't even look at his army. Red, run away. That was in the exact same spot. Red, no. He didn't know. He didn't know it was there. He just wanted to sit there. And now he's got to be thinking, I, I could have sworn. Like, am I off my... What, what's happening here? Am I off my rocker? So now he needs to make more trebs. He's sending more villagers to build this castle. That's just too good, man. That's just too good. Now, do you think blue... Like, you take that fight. You have a large mix of Byzantine units. You know how strong those units should be. Do you think that he's questioning himself now do you think he he ever stopped to think hmm can i make them stronger <laughs> like i would like to believe so but i'm not seeing any changes here oh 
with those resources too, with Byzantines. Hey, props to Red, he's really he's spending his resources well. Uh, props to him for doing that. Chico. Chico. Such a great game here. Two relics for both. About to be three for Red. He's gonna take that hill. No sense of urgency because he's a confident cookie. 10,000 wood. Yeah, you guys are just jealous. Get out of here. 10,000 wood. That's that's just for more buildings. And even saves wood, too, because Malian buildings are cheaper. Alright. I like it. I like it. I don't like the fact... Like, honestly, I know Blue has less villagers right now, but he, he you could say that he's straight up going to lose this game because of no blacksmith techs. And if... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I just don't know what to think right now. Oh boy. Especially because Logistica is not cheap. How much does Logistica cost? Oops. I think it's 800, 800 or something ridiculous. He could at least get Heavy Camel and and Elite Cataphract as well. Logistica is a thousand food, six hundred gold. So to get that technology and to not get Elite. And to not get blacksmith upgrades. Ah, oh, man. Can I check the market prices? Nah, I'm not going to check the market prices. Sorry, I just... Um, it's not... I can tell when they sell, right? And it's not something I really expect now that the guy's at 11,000 wood. Such a close game. Red will have the hill. Is he waiting for more trebs? I don't know what he's really waiting for right now. Blue is building another castle here. So he's making it really hard for... Whoa, he's getting heavy camel. Yo! Improvement! Heavy camel. Will that make him start to think about other upgrades? I don't see a blacksmith anywhere. Uh... <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> There's another gold over here, by the way. Did Red see that? Oh, wait. Red? Market? He just built that. He might start selling. And he does see that gold. Or, wait. No, he just bought stone, didn't he? Did he just buy that stone? What happened? How did he get 1,100 stone? Did he have that before? I don't know. You guys probably would know if he... Uh, he had it before. But what? Did they go AFK? Did they forget? Is it trash night? Do they have to take the trash out? Are they are they teenagers? Is their mom like, I told you to do the dishes before you played. Sorry, mom. And then he just masses the hill. Like, okay, there we go. He's selling wood. What what happened here? Another castle now for blue. Yeah, so he sold a bunch of wood. What's he spending right now? Camels and cab archers and trebs, hopefully. Trebs and onager? No, I think he forgot about that. He researched onager and forgot. I think blue, unless blue gets blacksmith upgrades, I think he dies to this. Or if he raids, like if he were to raid red, red's really exposed and red might freak out and send everything back home. But I hope he realizes. Okay, he's just built a market, so he might want to try and sell. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know about the blacksmith. <laughs> I mean, at this point... Who even knows? Okay. Alright. Four trebs. He actually... How did he find... Oh, a scout died to the castle. He sees the trebs from red. Now, now he has to react. A hundred military against one hundred military. Not fully upgraded from red, but certainly more upgraded and with the hill. Red, patrol in, my friend. Patrol in. Bring it all the town. Bring it all the town. Let's go. Melee in front. Cav archers behind. See, the cataphracts just... Oh no, they didn't die. They're back here. There's more. 
No, don't attack. No! Don't attack the traps. Don't it. I can't look. I'm looking at chat. Let me know when it's over. I can't look. I cannot look at it. Is it done? Whoa. Oh no! Oh. Oh my god! Ah. Okay. So, I'm gonna explain what happened there. This game is not over because of the production. Remember, Blue, his units are weak. I'm gonna explain what, what happened. Red freaked out, and he saw the siege, and he thought, I need to target the siege because I don't want to lose my castle. Would he have kept his castle up? Likely. If he just kept the patrol going, kept the attack stance, and took out the army first. See, he's doing the same thing. He's targeting the trap. Huge mistake. Instead, the logic needs to be, if I kill the army, I'm going to get the trebs anyways. Wow, that... That was so unbelievably painful, but Red will take out the trebs. Blue still doesn't have a blacksmith. Blue will lose these trebs, uh, as I just said, and I guess Blue will have to make um, yeah, more units himself. So, there, there's actually another example I can give you. It's a less extreme example with that situation. How many people here, if they go archers and they get into someone's base, let's say you have 10 crossbows, and your opponent sends four skirms at you, but you're next to a bunch of villagers. A lot of you out there, not saying names, would probably say, oh, vill kills are good, and kill villagers, but then lose all your crossbows. The play instead is to kill those four skirmishers because you have more numbers. And then, after the skirmishers are dead, the villagers are still there anyways. And then you're still in that position of strength. Elite Gibetto? Is he gonna switch it up? Okay. But yeah, that is, um... It was a horrible example, but it's a lesson that I think a lot of people can learn. Jeez, this game is going on. For a long time. One hour and 17 minutes. No wheelbarrow! And no double bid X. Double bid X is a castle age wood upgrade. None of it. Didn't need it. And then no wheelbarrow or hands cart for red. And then no blacksmith for blue. And what's stupid is the, the the weaknesses cancel each other out. Now if you're 10 crossbows versus 20 skirms, you kill the vills because you know expos are already dead, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, it kind of depends. If you can think you can get out of there and keep him alive, then, you know, maybe it's better to have 10 more crossbows in the next fight. But in general, yes. I'm just wondering if Blue is ever going to build one. Oh, Red was like, I'm running out of gold. I need gold. Boom, gold. So he's going over there now. I just went to Gaia's line of sight by accident. What's funny is Gaia had more... Had just as many blacksmith upgrades as blue does. <laughs> Sorry, that was too mean. These cav archers really are bad, though. They still, like, think about it. If you get 20 extra HP on the cav archers and the camels, 20 extra for each one and all the cav archers and camels he's fought with, that upgrade does make such a big difference. Maybe he's just making the game more even because Byzantines don't get that. They don't get bloodlines. Alright. Like, I, I respect these players so much, because they, they are, they have so many good aspects of this game down. Also, their usernames are hilarious troll usernames, which I can appreciate. But chemistry, bloodlines, husbandry... Ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-
Now, if you can run the camels back and forth, that'd be ideal. But see how he committed to the fight and he's getting a bit of a reward for it? Now, do you want to lose camels to halves like that? No. But, because blue doesn't have upgrades, just commit to the fight. Commit to the fight. Your units without upgrades should do just as well as blue's units, I think. I've, I've actually never seen... Yeah, it's working. Blue has more, though. <laughs> Props to him for reinforcing. It's the halves, actually, that will do the most damage here. Because they, they do a lot of damage for his calf. So you do need to run when you see those. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, he's running away. Now, Elite Gebetto wouldn't be a bad mix-in, but it'd really be Champion here. I know it sounds silly because there's Cataphracts out, but Champion would do, with Malians, has 8 Pierce Armor. So you have, you have Arbalest with 7 damage output. They do 1 damage a hit. 1 damage a hit to the Champions. Halberdiers would get shredded by the Champions. The Cataphracts without upgrades also get shredded by the Champions. So Champions wins this game in 2 minutes if Blue makes that, or Red makes that switch. Okay. Cataphract 36 is why do these games if they are so boring? You, what, what? What? Boring? If you are not captivated by the no eco upgrades versus no military upgrade battle, I am, I am shocked. I am shocked. And also, your name is Cataphract. You should be ashamed of yourself. Did he split? Why do I always miss the highlights? I missed a lion attacking the cab archer. This is what I get for communicating with chat. Now, he remember he researched Onager? He kind of forgot about it. Onager would be amazing. Like, three or four Onagers in that previous fight, and... Whew! Say goodbye. <laughs> 98 population against... Just, uh, 105. And blue has the eco upgrades. It doesn't seem like red is bringing in as many resources consistently. And Byzantines have better trash units. Oh boy. I like I just really I really want both of them to have an in-game realization. It's a bit like you can't teach old dogs new tricks, but I want Blue to somehow realize that building a blacksmith here would make sense. I highly doubt it. And I want Red to look at his stable, maybe when he goes to get Lightcap, because he runs out of gold, he'll realize bloodlines, but... Thousands of HP has already been lost. Tell me he's making Onager here. What's he using his gold for? Trebs? Oh, he's got a few Trebs here, okay. Okay, here come the Halbs. Again, champions in front would be beautiful. Oh, the Micro! Is he trying to block the Trebs? No, just keep, just keep. That's fine. Just fight it. 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 You're gonna win. He's being really cute with the micro here. Okay, should take out Blue's castle. Might take Blue a little bit of time, but Blue can take out the Trebs. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, Halb snow upgrades. Castle goes down. Now that extra gold is paying off so much for Red. My goodness. And he takes out another castle. Now, at this point, there's no stone left on the map. Um... Oh, no. There is stone here for blue. And blue sees it. Oh, boy. <laughs> another castle. Okay. Hussar. Okay. So, another option. This is an option that does not cost gold. That's great. Byzantine Hussars, not very impressive. But if he were to build stables over here and raid Red's economy, it would win him the game regardless of upgrades. I'm sure of it because of how they're playing this. But I do not believe that they are... I don't think that thought is going to really cross their mind. Look at the killed value here, by the way. And the relic gold. Actually, unfortunately... I'm not oh I am locked in the game now. Beautiful, okay. Alright, can he get this castle? Now, I think red should have a less expensive meat shield. 
Uh, you've seen the camels without the final armor upgrade and without the final attack upgrade, and the cav archers without the bloodlines and the, without the, you know, you, you get, you catch my drift. But I think that he should have maybe hussars in front or, or halbs or pikes. Uh, the camels aren't even attacking right now, which is pretty bad. You see how ineffective Blue's army is. They will take out the trebuchet. But Blue will lose his forces again. He's down below 100 population, and that's a lot of gold units, too. You think Blue made a blacksmith? No, he didn't. I, dude, I've been pressing... I have pressed the blacksmith hotkey more times than we have viewers here. And I'm assuming we have... We still have over 3,000 people here. This whole game, I've just been pre pressing my blacksmith hotkey while on Blue's... Like, I, I guarantee you, I'm, when it comes up, I'm going to find it. My, my uh, hotkey is Alt-S for blacksmith, so I'm just like, non-stop, man. Oh, boy. All right, so does Blue see this castle, or Red see this castle? He does, all right. So he knows about that. Almost out of gold over there. Needs to make more trebs. They are really taking their good old time here. I guess it's hard to create stuff and uh, fight at the same time. What a great day of low elo legends, though. Thank you guys for, for hanging out. I'll probably take a moment here. Uh, EO with six months says, I love you, T90, and hope one day to be in the top and get casted just for you to watch me build two archery ranges on a ransom island. You know what? You think you're funny, but the joke was three, not two. Get it right. I'm kidding. Uh, thank you, Farson, for the two months. Thank you, Arlocky, for the 16 months. Wait, no, 13. Um, Harry, I don't know if pe these people are still here. I hope so, because this has been a very captivating game. But Harry, thank you for 43 months. Harry has never once considered unsubscribing. Actually, uh, he'd be crazy if he didn't consider it. Thank you for sticking around, though. Fluffy is bunny. Doesn't Conejo mean bunny? Or rabbit or something? Someone before the game told me Conejo might mean that. Uh, thank you very much for seven months of support. And thank you, Spider Monkey, for two. Logic loves you. Uh, peep. Cat food says shark fin soup, roasted rhino horns, <laughs> snow leopard ball skewers. Okay, I missed that. I think he's trying to trigger Lorena, who doesn't like the fact that shark fin soup exists. Thanks, guys. Uh, obviously, I love casting low elo legends, but I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't for all those people I just listed off. So thanks for the support here on Twitch. Hmm. Okay, this is what this is. This is what I call trickle trebbing. <laughs> Sending in one treb is a mistake. You notice how blue sent in four earlier and it worked. Yeah, don't trickle treb. Instead, send in two or three at the same time. Funny enough, blue's units are just melting, anyways. Look how little damage he did there. He kills the treb, but the sacrifice. My God. Oh, he's pulling the FedEx. Yep, just wait till you have a few, and then you'll definitely take this out. I think Blue must have bought stone. I'd love to see Red make Light Cabin raid. I don't think these guys are thinking about raiding at all, though. What is that? Has that lumber camp been here this whole time? Did he build a lumber camp in between two full wood lines? And now it's just as inefficient for both? It... I didn't realize that till now, but look. Wow, okay. You could just build two separate lumber camps, dude. It's alright, at least he has his eco upgrades. Listen, if you build too many lumber camps, you're not going to have the wood for a blacksmith, obviously. Both of these guys, I actually got really excited because I pressed the blacksmith hotkey and I was on red's point of view thinking I was on blue's. Oh, I thought that was it. But man, like, both of these players are going to rewatch this and they're just going to be... It's going to be a mix of cringe, like self-cringe, right? Like, oh man, why didn't I do this? It's so obvious when I'm watching. But also, I hope they learn, and I don't think they'll make these same mistakes multiple times. Let's put it that way. I noticed Blue has had these idle villagers over here for, honestly, probably all of the Imperial Age. Forgot about those suckers. And Red uh, was running this direction. And sees there's another castle, so he'll probably just back up. Crop rotation, there we go. Now those 25 farms that Blue has are going to last even longer. 
but he loses the castle. Oh boy, one hour and 38 minutes. Guys, I figured it out. I figured it out. I remember the strategy. Okay, so back when I lived at my parents' place, I'd be like gaming way too much and being irresponsible, right? And they'd be like, hey, go do your chores. And I'd be like, oh, mom, can I just have one more game? And they'd be like, sure, one more game. And I realized that Age of Empires 2 games can be really, really, really long. That might be it. They might be teenagers. Red said, okay, we have to make this challenging. Blue said, no blacksmiths. That way I never have to do the dishes. I get it now. I'm on to them. And Blue, with this, with this many halves and hussars, I don't know if he can keep the castle up, but he's certainly going to take out the trebs. But he's not taking out the trash. You catch my drift? Take out the trebs, not the trash. That's a good motto right there. Take out the trebs, not the trash. All right, so uh, unfortunately, just two more volleys would have taken out that castle. And Blue has the population lead. I... <laughs> I it is the stoppable force against the movable object. I cannot handle this. What is happening? Uh, like, Blue's just defending, and he... He's not going for a killer blow, he's not going for a raid, he's not going for a blacksmith. No, Red, I believe, guys, Red's gonna make units. I just wish he would make... He seems really committed towards gold units, and I think that's gonna discourage him. So he should make skirmishers, light cav, and pikemen. Just, just make that. It's fine. <laughs> oh man! I swear, I swear to God, every time, every time a girlfriend's gonna come over and I have to like do the dishes and clean up and act like I'm not a little bit of a slob, you know, it happens. Um, I have a really long game. Like, I missed dinners with family members because of long Age of Empires games, but it's like, the long ones, the really, really long ones, only come when I wanted to stop at a certain time. It's like you guys know. T90, when are we getting more Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? Dude, this game is enough of a roller coaster for me. I am not doing more Roller Coaster Tycoon for months. Because this is way too much of a roller coaster. Back and forth. I've gotten sick multiple times. We've all waited in line for the game to end. Jeez. What is this? Is he chopping those trees without a lumber camp? He's gonna build a lumber camp, right? He's actually gonna build a lumber camp there, right? Lumber camp? Please? Okay, we'll just avoid that corner for a while. Blue's repairing? Did he buy- Oh my god, he bought- he actually bought like 700 more stone, and now he's repairing. Wait, no, did he- did, was he been mining the stone? Okay, he actually mined all the stone. I remember seeing that and making a joke like the game was going to go on for another hour because of it, but it was actually a joke. I didn't think that that would actually happen. Where's wood on this map? There's not many areas to get wood. There's wood in the south. There's wood over here. <laughs> Dude! They have chopped almost, they have chopped over half the trees on this. Next game, force nothing, let's go. Oh my goodness. I just got a text. Um, I'm thinking of stopping by the grocery store for something to drink. What do I want to drink tonight, chat? Whatever you guys say, I'm going to ask her to pick up. Beer, Red Bull, IPA, chocolate milk. This is a long list. Okay. Whiskey, tequila, water, skim milk, bleach. All right, all right. Can't forget your bleach. Cider. Got it. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Alcano, for the 14-month resub. 
What a journey here. What a journey. Elite Skirmisher! Oh, great. Another cheap trash unit to stall the game out with for 20 years. Alright. If he if he makes a blacksmith, he wins. He could get he could get forging and armor, and he could get uh, basically all the feudal age upgrades. I'm pretty sure he wins the game. I, I think so, anyways. Okay, just wait for 200 pop and just go again, Kanejo. Go again. And by the way, some people are bringing up the idea of contacting these players. Don't do that. Don't intervene. Okay. I've never actually played this game, but I love to tune in all the time. Yeah, no, no interventions here, all right? These guys, they, first off, they probably don't realize thousands of people are watching them. And who knows how many more on YouTube. They, the beauty of Low Elo Legends is that this is how people play on a daily basis. We need to appreciate it. Also, appreciate the value, bottom left, for red. That's the magic number right there. Wait for it. Boom. Wait. Getting there. Oh, that was close. I think he's getting iron casting. Okay, so he remembered the blacksmith. That is really promising. Wait a second. Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> Blue. Blue has mustered up the courage to, I believe, attack Red's castle. This is the first time that he has gone for a counterattack. And if that happens, Red might have to defend, and this whole game could just repeat itself over again for the next two hours as Red starts to rebuild castles and repair. On the hill, three trebuchets. Red, he thought he was the offensive player. And now he's getting both saw. Better chop wood real fast. There's not much left on the map. <laughs> um. Love this game so much. All right. Down goes the castle. What's Red gonna do? He's going for a counter now. Will Blue come back? Like I always wonder what players will do in that type of a situation. Because if Red just runs in, oh, this is so satisfying to see the units move past that hill. Oh my goodness, Blue will have to come- Blue has to come back with everything. Don't you- Okay, okay, right, good. Okay, so it, the town center is doing more damage to you than the actual units are. So at this point, I'd probably back up. You've drawn Blue back, which is a good decision. Back up. Wonderful. Now, Husbandry would be a fantastic upgrade. Um, I have faith because you just researched Bosaw, so I think you can realize Husbandry and Bloodlines is a thing. I, I still believe that with Mally and Pikes, with moderate upgrades, and these Cav Archers, that you can push this? I think so, but uh, he has way less numbers. Oh my god, one second. I need to... I'll be right back, alright? Two minutes, I'm gonna look at the hill. Um... I gotta go do something real quick. Like, I was supposed to stop streaming over an hour ago, so <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <laughs> uh, wait, does view lock work? View lock... For red... That's decent. That's decent. Guys, I'll be right back. Uh, Twitch chat is the all-knowing group on the internet. You guys could just cast.
Looks like Red's doing a pretty good job, guys. I don't know if that view lock is entirely accurate, but it seemed decent there. All right. 120 pop against 89. Unfortunately for us, Blue still has just as many resources as he did before he spammed units out last time, so he's probably going to make a whole bunch more. Whew. Trixity, he says, well then, thank you for the 14. Thank you for the amazing casting. Despel says, love this game so much. Thank you for two months. Rize says, I never actually play this game, but I love to tune in all the time. There's a lot of people out there who are now typing 13s who also rarely play. It's a fun game to watch. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, for sticking around and giving me a reason to talk about other people playing. One ram. One ram. <laughs> oh my god. The other thing is if he had a wheelbarrow, he would be bringing in so much more food. One ram. What really worried me a moment ago is that he started attacking the TC with his cab archers. And that is, it's a Byzantine town center. That's not a great idea. Okay, weird bug I'm having again. Fixed, okay. There we go. Kill the monk. Oh, the micro. He's definitely paying really close attention to his army. Uh, I just wish he had... Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, he doesn't have a castle anymore. He lost all of his castles. He can't make trebs. And if he can't make trebs, this game will legitimately never end. I didn't realize that he didn't have a castle. I thought he might still have one out there. He has just one treb. And he doesn't have chemistry, so he doesn't know he can get bombard cannons. He could buy stone? Maybe. Kaneho. Kaneho. I like how Blue has had these villagers sitting over here for a while. What would be funny is if Blue notices the idle villagers because he looks at this side of the screen. Whereas he's chasing down these units. The only way he realizes the idols is if he, you know, gets brought over there for something. Canejo is rabbit in Spanish? Yeah, I thought so. Alright. Like, he could go for a side attack of some kind. There's a lot they could do. <laughs> I'm really bad at game, but these streams are so entertaining. Keep oh, it's just... <laughs> No, like, past a certain point, we're closing it on two hours. Does anyone really win? You know? I mean, obviously, you're going to feel worse if you lose, but... Two hours? Two hours, man. Man. And there's no end in sight. We were in the exact same position that we were in an hour ago. I'm not even exaggerating. The only difference is that Red doesn't have castles. And, um, in blue, he has less castles. That, that's it. That's the only difference. The only difference is that. Uh, actually, no, a few upgrades came in. Like, a uh, attack upgrade, but. <laughs> Red spotted the bills. That's so funny. And, and now blue fights with the villagers. Classic. Blue didn't even care about them until they were being attacked. Oh, no. Man, these un up imagine if the Halbs had upgrades. I just... Blue, I... Maybe he didn't want to take the trash out or something, but... Blue should win now, I think. If he makes trebs, he should win. Because I don't have faith in Red being able to ever kill the COVID-20. So, Conejo Virus versus COVID-20. The Great Plague Cup, best of 69. This is game 69. And this is... This is a head scratcher and a half right here. I... Yeah, it's it's the unstop it's the stoppable force versus the movable object because neither player can finish off the game. Like who has the mental strength? Actually, right here, this could be it. We could see GG after this. The skirms, they at least have chemistry. I think that with the skirms and halbs that are here, Red's gonna lose an awful lot. And he, he really likes micro and cav archers, but that's it. 
Like, if he doesn't have cab archers, I don't think he's gonna have a will to live anymore. Didn't make light cav. A champion would have won in the game. Oh. Elite Skirmisher! Oh my god, all the gold units are gone. Time for trash units. Time to make skirms. And guess what? If he makes skirmishers, his skirmishers will be stronger. Because he has blacksmith upgrades. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. You know that taunt? You played two hours to die like this? It is officially accurate. Someone will die at some point. Can we please, so at some point, like, one of these buddies, Steam friends, is gonna message them and be like, Hey, T90 just casted your game. He said you're fantastic, you should watch it. Um, that, these guys are, might find out at some point. Can we please give them some salutes? I know it has been an absolute struggle for them. We have witnessed every step of that struggle. And, uh, th this is truthfully something that happens a lot more frequently than we've seen in Low Elo Legends, because... I, I don't know, like, people just... The other aspect of Low Eagle Legends, we see a lot of early resigns, so... On the flip side of that, it's very difficult for this ELO to finish players off. Especially when you don't get eco upgrades or blacksmith. I, I just... Like, the eco thing I've seen before, but no blacksmith techs at this stage of a two-hour game is just... Un unbelievable. Look at how many skirms he has queued. Wow, 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 he needs archer ranges. Build them all up against the edge of the map. This is panic time here. Archer ranges, let's go. Okay, so you compare the stats. Look at the stats. So this is red skirmisher. This is blue skirmisher. Pretty big difference there. Ting, 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 ting. The halves are taking out buildings. I have no faith that the 100 population from blue can actually win the game. None. <laughs> <laughs> like five range against seven range, five attack against four, but mainly the armor, right? Like look at the look at the lack of armor on these skirms. Look at the armor on these skirms. So they have melee and pierce armor. I think the skirms. I think Mali unupgraded uh, non chemistry non ring archer armor. Oh no, he has ring archer. I'm new. Yeah, I think non-chemistry Malian skirmishers can actually kill all the helps and skirmishers from blue. Let's see. Oh, wait a second, though. What if Red gets overwhelmed? The Trebs are coming in. Oh, <gasps> you could pop cap him. His greatest weakness. It's, it's the strategy you normally see to counter a pro player from Norway who loves to steal boars. It's the counter to MBL. Take out the houses. Get him pop capped. He'll never remember to build more. He he actually. I make that joke. He has um like twenty three houses here. That could work. Ting 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 ting. Oh my god, man. And blue just continues to produce. This is gonna continue forever. Oh wait, but Hussars. Hussars. <laughs> I actually want to see how much damage these things receive from skirmishers because they sh Hussars in this situation should mop up skirms. But if it's just skirms and no pikes, then uh, we'll, we'll see. Like the skirms, let's see. There's zero pierce armor on these things. The skirms are doing five damage, so... Uh, skirmishers could actually kill Hussar here in a second. Watch this. Red is pop capped. He's losing Hussars to skirmishers. You just can't. You just can't make it up. Wow. They maybe will kill five skirms. Okay. Is Red building more houses? Has he realized? He has not reacted yet. I don't see him building houses anywhere. He actually has house foundations on the front of his base. 147 population versus 125. He's lost a few more houses. Blue, don't take out the barracks. Not important. Take out the houses. 
take out the houses. That's probably much more effective. I just like to repeat, just just in case you didn't realize the magnitude of the situation. We are past two hours into a game. And the Malian player is beating the Byzantine player with trash. With trash units. And it's so tragic because Blue obviously knows that Hussars should be good here. But it's not working. Because he doesn't have a blacksmith. And believe me, I've been checking. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Poor Blue. Like... Now I just start thinking about how Blue will feel when he when he rewatches this. Cause it's such a simple thing that goes such a long way. Like is all the wood gonna be chopped on this legitimately? How long is this gonna go? I I hope not. I really hope not. I, I actually like Okay, I just got a text from Lorena. She lives twenty five minutes away from me, and she says she's on her way. I might be finishing this long ass game. So, oh, I gotta move my car so she can fit. <sighs> um, let me know when you are five minutes away. Ah, hi, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta. I, I mean, it's possible. I'm gonna finish the game. A tower? I'm gonna finish the game, but uh, I do have to move my car a little bit because she won't be able to fit her car. All right, blue built some houses somewhere. All right, built them over here. Okay. Oh, cataphracts. Really? Oh, at least they have Logistica. Dying to skirmishers. I just... It's... It's tragic. What car do I drive? So, my, my little garage here is listed as a two-car garage. It's really not. You can get two cars in there, but it's tight fit. It's not the biggest place, so... Uh, here we go. There's a winning fight. Yay. So excited. So, um, yeah, I've got to... I have to put my car close enough to the edge of the garage where I'm close enough to hitting the wall. <sighs> so, it's it, the funny thing is here, it, if you look at Blue, right? If Blue got blacksmith upgrades, he wins the game. If he doesn't get blacksmith upgrades, but he doesn't get eco, if he doesn't have good eco, he loses the game. So he, his good decision and his bad decision cancel each other out to just molasses. Nothing moves because he has amazing economy, so he'll always have the resources to do this. But he has crap upgrades, so he can never actually push. And then there's Red, who, it's the other way around. He has some blacksmith upgrades. I guess his eco is not that bad, but he still doesn't have wheelbarrow. I just, <laughs> I just, I just can't. What kind of car do I have? Uh, I have, I mean, depends. My day-to-day -day car is Lamborghini. My business car is a um, uh, Ferrari. But in general, like, I don't like to talk about it much, you know? No, I'm kidding. It's... I'm not that type of guy. <laughs> Blue no wood? I noticed that. I noticed he's having some wood problems. That's true. But he does have wood around here. He could just create more villagers. <laughs> I have... Ford Focus, alright? <laughs> Ford Focus uh, 2001. That's more my type of car. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Skirmishers attacking traps. Da, 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 da. That tower foundation is still there. Is Blue able to produce skirms right now? Not really. Not really. Does Red still have a treb or did he lose that while it was gone? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I lost the trap. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, I'll, you gotta give me a couple minutes. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm doing view lock on red. This is this is peak T90 content. I have to do some stuff. I'll, I'll be back. We'll probably be at the same spot. See you in a few minutes. Uh, thank you for your patience.
Here we see a strong push from Blue, who will survive this massive military force. Red is flanking the treads with scones. What? How many scurbs does he have? Yo! Hold on a f hold the What what happened? What happened? Uh Red lost his relics, he Blue has trebs, but Rams and Scurb Oh my goodness, it's 62 pop for blue? Conejo is gonna win! Oh, that's just a beautiful sight, isn't it? Did, let me just check. Did Blue build a blacksmith? Oh, no blacksmith. I'm not sure if I should be thankful at this point. Or if I should want one. Like, 154. He has 29 vills. 29 vills. 154. Skirmishers against Byzantines, where skirmishers are cheaper. You just Here can't make this up. And destroying all TC and the market. So I actually had it up on my phone, but I was doing things. Oh, now we got long swords with no upgrades. Great. Let's just bump up the variety of units we don't get upgrades on. Okay, now the monastery with two relics is right here, so that could be something that um, Red could take, but he's not really using gold, so whatever. Wow, he lost a lot of his base over here. Holy. He has zero. <laughs> Guys, he has zero on food. So if this game lasts for another hour, he might lose. Oh, God. I wasn't... I wasn't being serious. Oh, there, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I didn't... Sorry, it's really hard for me to get used to how many skirmishers are on the map. Holy cow. Man. Okay. Late to the party. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Um, yeah, I was just looking at Twitch chat and I saw people screaming, The relics! And trebs, you know. Oh my goodness. I think Blue's dead. But it might... It might take some time. Time yet because he has wood eco and he has food eco. You know what it might do? Eventually these villagers will just come to these trees instead of these trees and then Red will find it. Oh, oh, trebs. More trebs. I don't know why Blue, I mean, I really hope he doesn't, but I don't know why he doesn't just make hussars here to take out this trebuchet. Red's castle is pretty cute though. Right on the cliff. The thing is, though, Blue has the potential. He's really not dead because he has the potential to make just as much military as Red does right now. And Blue has more working economy. Like, I believe me, I, I kind of want this game to end as well. But if you think about it with those resources, Blue can make more military than Red has on the field right now. He could actually win this, and Red is just going to toss away his traps. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. I need to let Lorena know the situation here. He doesn't have his blacksmith upgrades. That's what? Blacksmith upgrades. She said, blacksmith upgrades. Even I know about blacksmith upgrades. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, I've really, I, I, I'm not good at texting. Two, 
Two hours and 37 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> well. Oh yeah, just attack the, um, attack the mining camp. Yeah, just make sure you clear out, clear out every little bit of blue specks you can find. A hundred, you see what I said though, about the population? Blue can get more military, and I think realistically can make it for longer. I'm not too sure on that statement, but what was he at? 9,500 food not too long ago? He's now at 8,000. So just a few more waves. This, I, I don't even think this can be low elo legends. This is, this is like its own video with a different, uh, I, I don't even know what the title would be on this video. The longest noob game ever or something, but holy cow. Unbelievable. Skirmisher is killing Hussars. And I maintain... If blue and, and red, at this point, I guess they're just so, so, they're struggling to keep up with it. Wait a second. Do you see this? Red scouting. Thanks for living through this for us. Red is, he's scouting. Oh God, no. Did he lose those? <laughs> Make it stop, guys! <laughs> Make it stop, please! No! Oh! But it's 98 population to 110 pop. All I hear is blue up, blue up. All I hear is the uh, the you the skirmishers being created from the side. Archer ranges, but again, he's down to 5,000 food. He has less on wood, and he doesn't have any farmers. He is, he's, he's just gonna fight with everything he can. I don't think he can kill blue. Red, no town center. Blue, no town center. There's no rebooming here. It's just, it's, it's, uh, I, I don't know. No TC for either player. Rainer, a good takeout to make up for your absence because of this game. <sighs> Bunny Warren. She hasn't said anything to me yet, but uh, you know, I didn't, I wasn't able to get over to her place. Yesterday was her freaking birthday, so Conejo virus and COVID twenty. I'm just gonna be like, listen, Kane, I I'm gonna say that uh, COVID is what delayed us in our celebrations tonight. Uh, man, so Gibetto, the pretty low HP unit. If you're gonna use your gold, I wouldn't use them for Gibetto. Just saying. But <laughs> he's up to 150 skirmishers again. The Rams were a good idea. The Trebs were a good idea. You just have to protect them. And oh boy, Blue's starting to reboom. New town center. All right, these Gibettos. Where are they going? They're dead now. Okay. I I find the idea of Blue going out to raid hilarious because it's very possible he won't find any economy when he gets to Red's base. Okay, Red is patrolling into a mining camp thanks to E. He's fighting uphill with most of his army. Let's see how he does here. With skirmishers against Byzantine skirmishers and also Hussars. He's freaking winning. He's freaking winning the fight. This should not happen. Shouldn't happen. Malian skirms against counter units. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! What? Wait, what? What the? Who? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Did they drop? It... Don't tell me Red resigned! Red had more pop! What? 
did he think it was over or was it a drop? So uh, earlier today, I have no way of confirming unless I get Kaneho on the phone. I'll try and see if I can get him on the line. But I, I have no way of confirming the situation. But earlier today, we were ca casting a game. And at the end, uh, we were similarly confused. Only it was two and a half hours. Um, it was like 30 minutes into the game instead of three hours. And it said here a save has been... A save file has been saved. So that told me then that someone dropped. There, nothing says disconnected, but there's no way to really know on DE because they don't like us to have information. Oh, Red's mom figured out the plan. He was taking out the trash in game, but he needed to take out the trash out of game. Oh, man. 1,321 kills. Largest army, 158 versus 141. Still, with all of that, only 38 buildings were raised as the highest. Whew. 78,000 food collected. 71,000 wood collected. 29,000 gold collected. He put that into camels and cav archers, which does not have full upgrades, but somehow was unable to push that Byzantine trash. 93% of the map was explored. You see that a lot in high-level play and low-level play, where Byzantines are losing to skirmishers from Malians. You don't see that too frequently, I'm sure. Impressive. That is the most low ELO legend late game timeline you will ever see. You can clearly see every single time they went into a fight with over a hundred military and then lost everything and then popped back up. <laughs> like, it, it looks like, uh, the, What do I, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of bummed for red at the moment because I, I, I'm happy for my, you know, my, my evening, but while blue's position was certainly going to be a bit stronger, was he creating more bills? I'm not sure, but like I, I said, blue had more sustainable food and wood. Red, at least in this fight, was winning. He would have cleaned and it would have been, let's say, 80 military against 30. Blue would have made more, like we saw so many times, but... Ugh. Man. Well, um... <clears throat> guys, that was a treat. If you have title ideas for YouTube, let me know. I don't even know if I want that to be in part of the low ELO Legend series. It was... We didn't really... It wasn't quite as constructive as a low ELO Legend cast might have been. It wasn't, um... It wasn't the same as a, a normal low ELO legend game. This was just a grind. The Great Plague. Yeah, I'll probably get demonetized or something. All right, thank you for your ideas. There's the Relic Gold. Everyone, this is both the end of the stream tonight and also the end of the YouTube video. I've never done this before. Zeno, thank you. Yaga, Zeno, um, Vic Sanza, Bunny Warren, Clockwork. You guys are all amazing. All right. Thank you for watching. Your final words on this stream will be the final words on the YouTube video. You guys are awesome. I got to head out. Love you all. <laughs> and uh, got to be honest. Hope I never cast a game that long again. <laughs>